Dear colleagues, as chairperson emeritus of the International League of People's Struggle, I have the honor and pleasure of conveying warmest greetings of solidarity to the Gabriela National Alliance of 200 strong women's organizations on the occasion of its 14th National Congress today and tomorrow. I salute you for all your achievements since your previous Congress. I am confident that in your current Congress you will sum up your experience, build further on your accumulated strength, overcome difficulties and shortcomings, and set forth new tasks to raise your strength to a new and higher level in an all-round way. With your resolute leadership and militancy, you must strengthen the collective will and, and fighting spirit of the Filipino women and people in the face of the escalating conditions of oppression and exploitation by the U.S. directed Marcos Sara tandem, which represents the worst political dynasties that have arisen in the semi-colonial and semi-feudal society of the Philippines. The return to power of the Marcos political dynasty through the fraudulent automated elections manipulated by the tyrant Duterte manifest a grave deterioration of the ruling system. This involves a continuance of state terrorism and plunder under conditions of multiple crises in the Philippines and the world capitalist system. These crises include the economic and political crisis, the pandemic, the threat of World War III and nuclear war and global heating. The Filipino people are now suffering unprecedented depression of the economy, a huge accumulation of unemployment, falling value of wages and middle strata incomes, inflationary prices of basic commodities and services, mass poverty and hunger. The economic crisis is compounded with and aggravated by the prolonged COVID-19 pandemic. The burden falls heavily on the toiling masses of workers and peasants, especially the women. The Marcos II regime offers no way out of the crisis. It is hell-bent on carrying on the neoliberal policy which presumes that the Philippines has comparative advantage in the export of cheap raw materials, live labor, mostly women, and some semi-manufacturers, that it can remain agrarian, pre-industrial, and semi-feudal, that it can engage in military overspending and reduce appropriations for social services, that it can freely incur budgetary and trade deficits and that it can indefinitely increase the public debt burden. Although the tyrant Duterte has made Marcos Jr. president through massive electoral fraud, he has left a quagmire for the latter to sink in. Within the last six years, especially the last two, Duterte has more than doubled from the public debt of 5.9 trillion pesos as of uh, May 2016, a debt accumulated in 120 years, to 12.79 trillion pesos as of June 2022. Both the U.S. and Duterte have also bound Marcos Jr. to continue the state terrorism against the legal, patriotic, and democratic formations and the barbaric anti-communist campaign of military suppression against the People's Democratic Revolution. We are certain that the economic and political crisis of the ruling system will further worsen under the Marcos II regime. We are confident that the broad masses of the people will fight more fiercely than ever before for their national and social liberation through legal democratic mass struggles and a protracted people's war against the three monsters, which are foreign monopoly capitalism, domestic feudalism, and bureaucrat capitalism. We are happy 
that the National Democratic Mass Movement is fast gaining strength and that the Gabriele National Alliance is making highly significant contributions to this movement. We urge your alliance to continue doing its best and make greater achievements to arouse, organize and mobilize the Filipino women and entire people in the Philippines and abroad to contribute the most they can to the People's Democratic Revolution and engage the solidarity and support of their fellow women in all types of countries in the world. All women have a common cause in fighting for national liberation, democracy and socialism against imperialism and all reaction. Mabuhay kayo!